Whenever I enter my room, it looks too dark and it's hard to find the light switches. So I decided to make a light that glows up whenever I enter my room. And after turning on the light switches, it automatically turns off. In this light, an LDR is used so that it works only in dark conditions. I charged it a month ago and it has been running continuously until now without any issues. I will explain every step so be sure to watch till the last. Components that I used in this project are a 1 ohm resistor, a 9k ohm resistor, a diode, an LDR, a TIP41C and PN transistor, a capacitor, a 18650 battery, a battery holder, a battery charging module, the PIR module, a self-designed PCB, some LEDs, a textured transparent plastic plate, and lastly, some pieces of PVC pipe. Now let's talk about the PIR. The sensor detects the changes in infrared radiation emitted by warm objects. When a warm object like human moves within its field of view, the sensor detects the change in heat and triggers an output signal. The two knobs here to adjust sensitivity and time delay accordingly. The module has a jumper to select two modes of operation, the DC input, signal output and ground. And lastly, in this module, we can also connect an LDR and a thermistor according to our requirements. So now, let's see the working of my self-designed PCB. Here we have the battery, the PIR sensor, the TIP41C NPN transistor and the LED. The positive terminal is connected to the positive side of the LED. To regulate the current, I have added a resistor in this connection. The negative terminal of the LED is linked to the collector of the transistor and the emitter is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Positive to positive, negative to negative and the output to the base of the transistor. When the sensor is triggered, it sends a small current to the base. This base current allows the transistor to conduct electrons from emitter to collector. Eventually, the LED circuit closes and the LED glows up. Now, to add fade-in and fade-out effect like this, I have connected a capacitor between them, which creates a smooth curve between 0 and 1. But two issues arise from this capacitor. The first one is, when the output is low, the stored power of the capacitor flows backward to the IC of the PIR, which may damage the IC. To allow current flow in only one direction, I have added a diode between them. Then, the second problem is the slow discharge of the capacitor, which creates an undesired or very long fade-out effect. To solve this, a resistor is connected between them. We can change the duration of the effect by changing the values of the resistor and the capacitor.
Hey, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.